Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and we're going to test a proportion. We're going to use the confidence interval approach and let Minitab do a lot of the work for us. A political strategist claims that 57% of voters in Madison County support his candidate. In a poll of 400 randomly selected voters, 204 of them support the strategist candidate. At an alpha equal to 0.05, is the political strategist claim warranted. We're going to let Minitab do a lot of the work, but first we're going to gather up our information. So we had an N or a sample size of 400, and out of those 400, 204 of them supported this candidate. So that's our value of X. And the presumed or the claimed value of the population proportion is 57%. So now we can come over here and set up our HOHA. So the claimed or believed value of the population proportion is 57%. And so now we need to set up our signs for the null and alternative. So this strategist claims that 57% of the voters support his candidate. So they're claiming that the proportion is equal to 57%. And he doesn't claim we don't have any information about a direction. And in absence of that, then we know that since HO and HA are mathematical opposites, that would be a not equal to. In other words, he's claiming that the proportion is equal to 57%. In order to overturn his belief, I would be willing to accept information or data that proved it either to be higher or lower. The other thing you knew was that the equal to had to go in HO because any version of equal to is not ever going to appear in an alternative hypothesis. So given this information, we're going to let Minitab construct the interval for us. Here in Minitab, we're going to select stat, basic statistics, and one proportion. We have summarized data. And we knew that 204 out of the 400 who were surveyed supported the candidate. The hypothesized proportion was 57%. Now in options, we need to make sure that our confidence level is correct. Alpha was 0.05. That makes confidence level 95%. Our alternative hypothesis, remember we have a choice here, was not equal to. And for our method, we're going to use normal approximation. Because we're using a confidence interval approach, the information that we need out of Minitab is right here. They've constructed the 95% confidence interval for the proportion. Now, if you peek down here at your p-value, you probably already know what your answer is going to be. But we're going to e interpret this test based on the confidence interval. So in this two-sided confidence interval, Minitab calculated our lower limit to be 0.461. And it calculated the upper bound of the confidence interval to be 0.559. Remember, when we're looking at a confidence interval approach, if the hypothesized value falls inside of the interval, then our decision will be do not reject. Remember, whatever is inside of the goalposts is good. But because this was a two-sided test, we have two different rejection regions beyond the interval. We have one at the top and one at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the hypothesized value of the proportion, which was 0.57. I'm going to place that on my curve. And I know that 0.57 falls somewhere up here. Clearly falls outside of the 95% confidence interval. And since it falls outside of the interval, my decision is going to be to reject HO. So based on the confidence interval and the hypothesized value of the proportion falling outside of that interval, my conclusion is to reject HO. There is insufficient evidence to support 
the strategists claim that 57% of the voters are in support of his candidate. As always, I hope that you found this useful and thanks for watching.